Matt my car's here. Say yeah. hi to Serpenza. Serpenza. And Matt. Shenzhen's a nice place to travel to because it's pretty warm there all year round. So you don't necessarily ever have to pack heavy clothes. I have some friends there. Probably meet for, for a beer or something. I'm sleeping in a boat. Big boat. You'll see. Now we're going domestic. Every time I come here international, I always wait in line at domestic. <laughs> I wait in line for 20 minutes and then they're like, you're in the wrong line, you need to go to international. While I'm there, I'm going to do a recording of the first Vlogger 101s where I interview uh, vloggers from around the world and I'm planning to do one with uh, Serpent Zao Winston and also Laowai 86 Matt, so that should be cool. Flight leaves in 30 minutes, let's get out of here. When you're in China and you do trading business, it's very easy to rack up a lot of flying miles. In doing so, you find that you can get VIP pretty easily. It's awesome, I'm in a little bus here and it's gonna drive me directly out to the plane. I won't have to wait in line. I can wait in the VIP lounge. High class. Do not have a have a nice day. Bye Fiona. Bye bye. bye, -bye. First man off the plane. The hotel I ended up getting is in an area of Shenzhen called Shiko. It's very cool. Did I mention I'm staying in a boat tonight? I've been uh, a little depressed these last couple of days. I don't know if you noticed. My vlogs are a little shorter. They're not beginning of the day to the end of the day. I got, I got some big things coming up. I'm really worried about my body. I feel like I'm not 100% prepared to leave, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll get into a lot of shape starting the cycle trip. Take it easy. Don't push myself too hard. And I should be okay. The airport's like super new. Me and Annie had a talk last night. We're trying to make everything work so that you know, I'm good to leave and there's a lot of emotions there, you know. Got a lot of weight on my shoulders. Combine that with the weight on my belly. Ugh, I'm a mess. Not a free lighter? At least they recycle them, right? This is Shiko. Like much of China, it's developed quite a bit in the last few years. Now this hotel is not the closest hotel to the place where I'm going to meet with Winston. But I have been here a few times and every time I come here I look at this place and I'm like, I wonder what the hotels there are like. I'm not expecting anything too amazing. It's a boat basically converted into a hotel. <laughs> you take what you can get. This is normal. Now I'm standing up straight. This whole room is on an angle, which is funny. <laughs> 
It's kind of hard to tell you how off-level this room is. I think I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little example. I'm going to take a bottle of water. I'm going to place it on the ground on the far side of the room. And I'm just going to give it a little tap. And it keeps going and keeps going. Keeps going. Picks up speed. <laughs> Can you get an idea of how off this place is? I mean, it's actually kind of fun. It's bringing back memories from when I lived on the yacht in, uh, in Florida. Man, Shenzhen is normally really, really warm. And I did not bring enough clothes. My room in this, in this boat is all the way to the, to the front, to the bow. As a matter of fact, I think my room is like one of those. They didn't like gut this boat and then like install a hotel. They just built a hotel onto the existing decks. So my room actually ramps up as it goes to the bow, which is kind of funny because when I, uh, when I lived on that yacht, uh, for those of you that don't know, I lived on a yacht uh, when I was uh, 18, 19, maybe early 20s. And uh, my bedroom, the boat was not this big. It was a privately owned boat owned by a really rich guy. I was first mate. I was like Gilligan, basically. And my bedroom was right, right there at the front of the boat. My room was literally the shape of a triangle. <laughs> my bed, actually. It, was, it wasn't even a room. It was just a bed. And the bed was in the shape of a triangle. Like right in front of my head would be the chain compartment where the anchor and all the extra chain for the anchor would be. I'm used to sleeping in very strange boat, uh, <laughs> boat rooms. Anyways, I'm waiting for a call from a friend of mine named Jason. Jason is a teacher here in Chico at an international school. He's an American. I was cycling around the world and I came here and I actually stayed in Shenzhen for like a month. That's how much I like this place. I, I got a little apartment and I just hung out here. I met Jason through Facebook and he said, hey man, could you do a speech at my school to my students? So what I did is I brought my trike, I, I rode it to the school and I rode it into the classroom and I did a really, like definitely the longest lecture I've ever done. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna link to it because I videotaped the lecture. Please take a look at it. If, if you guys are interested in who I am, why I wanna travel, and what led me to the person I am today. That is, it's a very long, it's like almost two hours, but it's, it's very informative. And if you can kind of cut it up into pieces, you might enjoy it. It comes in two parts, actually. Each part is like an hour and a half. Little Shenzhen tidbit. Shenzhen is the home of DJI. They make those drones. The drone I use and the Inspire and the Phantom and a bunch of other drone stuff. And I hope they're gonna be a little bit lenient on me flying around here. There he is. How's it going? Long time no see. Yeah, man. Oh. This is too cold for Shenzhen. Yeah. I should have brought a hat. I was in, um, I was in uh, Dongguan, and they came in. So I got out of the bus at Dongguan yesterday. We had a badminton match, and I got up. I was like, we didn't go that far north. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then I came back here. It was the same temperature. Yeah, mm. it got cold. This is your vlogging setup. He, he is still holding a selfie stick. He just doesn't look oh, like. Oh, oh, it's selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you can get a good burger here. Yeah, absolutely. Hey man. I'm not just eating this burger because I'm an American and he's an American. I'm eating it because I was well yeah, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. As I say it, I'm like, maybe it is, because we're both American. Oh, yeah. All right, finished the burger. Now we're going for some more beer. This is like small, fantastic. <laughs> small, fantastic. My second girlfriend said that to me. Hey, awesome. It's small and it's fantastic. All right, boss, what is this? This is their Metropolis IPA, all craft brew. It's fantastic. It'll hit your lips, and it'll just, It'll taste so good. Cheers. Cheers. Ah! That's a beer. 
<laughs> no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> IPAs have a bite, man. Some of them have a bite. This is really good. We, you know, me and Jason were just talking about like we we passed by a friend of his and he's like, yeah, that's my friend. He's got a little brewery. He brews his own beer and he lives here with his wife and kid and you know like. You could have a whole amazing life in China. You could use teaching English as a stepping stone and come out here and then leave that teaching thing and just go off into a weird direction and you might find yourself happy as hell here, brewing beer or you know, opening up a business or doing all sorts of things. I mean, America is a land of opportunity, but there's a world of opportunity out there for you if you're looking. You might want to just try to take a little trip to China. You might find out that you know, there's opportunities here for you too. Get, a, right? get a travel visa. Get a travel visa. Come on. Don't leave. How many beers did you have? Four. Four? Four, Four pints? We had five pints. Uh, maybe I had five pints. Anyways, I've had a five total. Yeah. I've had a lot of beers. And I am gonna head back to the hotel. I'm not guaranteeing that I will edit and finish a vlog tonight. I will probably go to bed in my slanted boat of room. Four percent. <laughs> four degree. The four degree, four degree slant. Anyways, I'll catch up with you later.